So there's this cool website that Muslims have that's called islamreligion.com that allows you to talk with Muslim and ask questions live. I just asked a simple question of who is the first Muslim? My response that I got from this was that there is supposedly a hadith that says that Adam is the first Muslim. It doesn't say it in the Quran. According to this guy, I asked him repeatedly to give me a source from the Quran. So you have to listen carefully to what he said, because he's using specific words for a specific reason for a specific narrative. He's asking, who was the first Muslim? Now I'm guessing he got this argument from Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon tries to debunk that this exists in the Quran on his website, but we won't worry about that. Let's just go into the Quran and see from there. In the Quran, chapter 2, verse 30. Remember, when your Lord said to the angels, I am going to place a successive human authority on earth, they asked Allah, Will you place it in someone who will spread corruption there and shed blood while we glorify your praises and proclaim your holiness? Allah responded, I know what you do not know. Now the word I highlighted is important. Khalifatan. This word is vicegerent. Let's be very specific with our words. What is the definition of a vicegerent? A person regarded as an earthly representative of God. Now that we have that clear, who is this person? Again, I'm highlighting the words in the Arabic so that you know that I'm not lying when it says a name or a word. The next verse of the one I just previously showed says, He taught Adam the names of all things. Then he presented them to the angels and said, Tell me the names of these, if what you say is true. So who is this earthly representative? Adam, peace be upon him. Let's again use the Quran in chapter 38, verse 71 and 72. Remember, when your Lord said to the angels, truly I am going to create man from clay. So when I have fashioned him and breathed into him soul created by me, then you fall down and prostrate to him. Who is the first man that was created from clay? And who are the angels going to prostrate to? In the Quran, chapter 7, verse 11, we told the angels to prostrate yourselves to Adam, and they prostrated themselves. So was Adam, peace be upon him, proven to be a prophet of God? Yes, as I just showed you. Was he proven to be the first one who was created as a man? Yes, as I just showed to you. But let's use a hadith to back it. Some people will say, appeal to your father, Adam. They will go to him and say, O oh, Adam, you are the father of all mankind, and Allah created you with his own hands and ordered the angels to prostrate to you. 